are giving you a different title this morning because you are now Dr. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not because on the 70th anniversary of the NHS you have retrained no, no. in order to <laughs> contribute. Um, just tell us what you were up to yesterday because you didn't join us in the studio, ably replaced by Aisha. No, I, I was in Sunderland at the university where I uh, received an honorary doctorate. You get, you get to dress up with a uh, you know, fancy dress. You're wearing a tie, Maguire. I know, I know. I was <laughs> required. God. I was required. But You'll be bang to the Queen, eh? It is. I'm only an honorary doctor. But he asked me to look at his rash. And <laughs> sadly, sadly, it's not fatal. He, well, it's I could when, see that. It's when he yeah. got his stethoscope out this morning. I was very worried. I thought, where's that going? An honorary doctorate is given to alumni of a university to say, yeah. well done for going out and making something of yourself. I know. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a visiting professor there. And you go, you know, it's, it's a very, very good um, university. It's got a fantastic record of people from families who didn't go to university, they go, uh, superb employment record, uh, and so on. And you, you know, look, we've all done well in, in life, haven't we? Uh, yeah. You know, fate, and what do you, when you go back to, to visit and be a professor, what do you, what do you lecture people in? You, uh, journalism, actually. I'd like to pretend it was astrophysics, but, it, <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. In fact, you know, we, you had somebody here, Sophie, who now works for the Teesside Gazette. She was a student at Sunderland. You had her own work experience and, uh, you know, they, they do very well, and it was great. It was, uh, it was at the Stadium of Light. It's the first time I've seen so many winners at the Sunderland ground for a long time. Oh. Mm. Well, congratulations. Um, so, look, you. you getting a doctorate isn't a mystery. We all think that's very well deserved. Yeah. But an extraordinary mystery surrounding mm. these two new oh. Novichok poisoning. I mean, awful for them. Yeah. Terrifying for the people of Salisbury. And, and Amesbury. Yeah. And Amesbury, yeah. indeed, and anyone, potentially, on the journey miles between. And, and yeah. Nobody can possibly, I think, put this at the door of Vladimir Putin like they could the first mm -hmm. one, because, look, he's got a very successful World Cup going on in Moscow. He wouldn't want anything to distract from that. Also, he's meeting President Bush very short, shortly. It's almost certainly a failure of that original clean-up operation. President Bush? Uh, President Bush. Uh, sorry, um, uh, President... Uh, uh, Trump's name Trump. <laughs> How can we forget his name? He's seeing Trump. Putin's seeing Trump. So uh, well, Andrew, you? very early in the morning. You know, <laughs> early in the morning. You brainwashed him. Uh, exactly. You brainwashed exactly. him forgetting yes. Trump. Putin I know. Be so insulted. How could anybody forget Trump? <laughs> <laughs> so, brilliant. Yesterday yeah. he was called. He, he forgot Aisha's name because said, unless who you is she? Next to him. I know. I said, who it's, is this person? It's, it's age. Um, yeah. it's, well, you, Andrew, you say that it it can't be the Russians this time because why would Putin sabotage? Well, no sense. A huge propaganda coup he's pulling off at the yeah, moment with the, right. with the World Cup tournament. Except, Kevin, yeah. if this is leftover oh, material for sure. from that original I'm attack. Sure it is. No, absolutely. And, and, of course, Putin did hope he'd move on because they've run a very uh, good World Cup. But you would think, and listening to Chip Chapman, Major General Chip Chapman earlier, you would think uh, they are linked. And whatever the source is, it mm. hasn't been discovered. Now, mm. I know some people question whether it was the Russians, but nevertheless, you would think the two are linked. And it does open up the notion that if uh, it was a problem with the clean-up, maybe they didn't go out far enough, yeah, yep. then you think, OK, so we now know eight miles, yeah. how much further out, yeah. where do these people travel from, where could they have stopped off anywhere yeah. around the UK? And of course, There's if, a whole myriad if, of frightening if questions. If they don't recover, we may never know. But no, And quite. what I don't think any of us realised, too, was that the Novichok is it, four months since the original poisoning, it isn't the power of it, the potency, the lethal yeah. nature of it is not degraded It never degrades at all. over time, does it? No, which is no. really... And if you're living in Salisbury or Aylesbury now, you're going to be really frightened. 